So what I've set up here now is not the critical illumination, but the curler illumination. So in this case, we now have a component which is the field lens. We have a component that is the condenser lens with a condenser aperture and a field aperture. Light source still the same as before, filament light source. And this is where your stage and your sample would be located. So what this is illustrating is how you can then get this very inhomogeneous um, coil of the filament to be creating a very homogeneous illuminated spot that I can illustrate here. So, for simplicity, I'll take out the condenser first, a condenser aperture and leave the condenser lens in there, and I'll leave all this setup. So, if you start, you do need to curler your setup. So what you would need to do is I'll ditch the reducing the field aperture to the smallest to try to send it. What the next bit would be is to focus that. So what you want to achieve is that this aperture edge is focused sharply on here. The moment that's actually the case. If I don't do that, what I'm moving now is the condenser backwards and forwards in my microscope setup. Pull out again and decurl your microscope. You'll see you get lots of effects of the light source giving you a sign that you've not curled it properly. Especially look at the edges, how defocused they are. So you want to focus the edges nice and well. So you've got a well curled setup, which is exactly here now. And if it achieves that, what will then happen if I now look at the entire setup is that the field aperture will not cause an increase or decrease of the illumination. What will actually happen if I now turn to a different size is that I'm going to change the size of the illuminated area. So that's where you would then adapt it to exactly open up to fill the whole field of view, specifically illuminating only the area that you want to. But compare this disk of homogeneously illuminated light with the fuzzy blob of the filament that we had in critical illumination. Realistically, what will happen is That will create an image which will be located somewhere at this point. That's where the condenser actually sits. If I now move the condenser lens in there, you can actually see the condenser aperture. So you can actually see if I place this here in the right spot, there's the image of my filament. So that's where it's located. And it doesn't actually increase or decrease brightness or size of it as it's increased or decreased, it is only going to contribute to contrast and resolution.